Hey, good morning team. And it's uh, another wonderful and beautiful day in paradise. And uh, what is paradise? Paradise is basically living, existence. And uh, you know, I'm very grateful for the life I have, the mind that I've been given, um, the, the, the surroundings, the environment, the context, everything I'm very happy for. And, and that's what paradise is, basically being grateful, having gratitude for what you've got. Um, so today I want to talk a little bit about orientation, like what life is all about, what are your goals? And I figured out that a lot of people are chasing after goals that are, that are not real, uh, that's not who they are. And life should be about who you are as opposed to what you want the world to perceive you as. Um, so a lot of goals people have is because they're trying to basically uh, get the world to see them in a particular way. And they want the love and admiration of the world um, because uh, they're missing something. Uh, they're incomplete in a particular way or in a certain way. And they feel that if they have the admiration of the world uh, by achieving that goal or that target, then that will complete them. And I'm suggesting, I'm arguing, I'm actually saying that that's the wrong goal, that's the wrong orientation. It's not about what we have and how the world perceives us in terms of their admiration for us that is critical and important, it's who we are. Um, and if we focus on the orientation of who we are and uh, you know what kind of person we are um, and if we focus on um, you know it's very ominous to say who we are what I mean by that is you focus on self-awareness um, and understanding the person that you are what your uh, kind of goals your um, you know your qualities your faculties your capabilities are and also who you are is thinking meaning delving in um, and giving insight to yourself um, what that means is basically when you delve in you come to truths and those truths are become, um, become thoughts in your mind. They become part of the identity that you have, your bearing. And so, you know, who we are is also as much about delving in as understanding ourselves. So coming to truths also make us who we are. And I think that's the journey. The journey is about discovering who you are, being who you are, loving who you are, and then giving who you are as value back to the world. Giving is a, a way of uh, demonstrating that you believe in yourself, you value yourself, you value enough, you value yourself enough to basically give value to somebody else. Um, and when you do that, when you give value uh, to others, then um, through your understanding of yourself, then basically the world rewards you for that value and it rewards you in different ways. And if by chance that value is through uh, a financial reward or through fame or through uh, being given positions of authority, then the world rewards you back but your orientation was uh, about being who you are as opposed to seeing the world uh, or wanting the world to see you in a particular light to fill your own void of uh, incompleteness and a lack of uh, kind of self-worth. And that is another point in terms of uh, self-worth, which is, uh, you know, where did you get that glitch? to kind of uh, feel you needed to fill it through external stimulus, through uh, the, the kind of admiration and uh, the way other people thought about you. Um, and that is a separate question. Um, 
what I would say is probably that um, you, you know, an experience happened in your early childhood that uh, you misinterpreted, you misdiagnosed, and you set a value on that experience that has stuck with you and has given you um, your interpretation then and that interpretation has stuck with you and stayed with you in terms of who you are um, continuously and you haven't found a way of unwinding, uh, unearthing, exploring that issue and coming to the right conclusions or the right diagnosis, the right um, fix to, uh, to, to an identity shift, an identity change that happened in your life. And you have to go back to that and fix that um, and then reorientate yourself from that perspective and then, um, you know, break out of that cycle and uh, give yourself slack, um, you know, f um, freedom to be uh, who you are and not to, uh, you know, judge yourself uh, on that point alone as your representation of your life. Uh, so those are the thoughts I have right now. This is what I was thinking today. Uh, I'm going to try and uh, do different places uh, in the greater Raleigh area for these kind of short takes. Um, I'm trying to figure out which areas to be in and to be able to do it in a, you know, in a well-managed way um, that um, allows me to um, you know, manage uh, everything that I'm doing as well. So uh, bear with me, this is all work in progress and hopefully um, I'll try and get a little bit better in terms of uh, how I speak, uh, what I'm saying and the amount of time I'm using up uh, and I really, really appreciate the time you give me uh, by watching these videos.